May 15th right now, and um, waiting, just sitting here waiting, basically. Um, l less than nine hours to go now, and I'll be sitting in front of the theater, or I'll be sitting in the theater, the light's dimming, uh, waiting for Prince Caspian to finally begin. And uh, this is really the climax of uh, quite a chapter in my life. Like, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe was quite an emotional roller coaster, you know. I've talked about in the first blog, first episode a little bit why these books are so important to me. It's so important that they get them right. They really, the story really meant, meant a lot to me in my life, and it's really important that they represent them accurately and faithfully in the movies and hopefully have the same impact on audiences that it had on me. Maybe that's expecting too much, but... But, uh, we're here. Uh, all the, you know, all 70-something videos... 292 days uh, doing these videos. I've been counting down longer than that, but doing those videos for that long. Uh, all the controversy, actually getting to visit the set, you know, meet a lot of the actors and the cast. You're like, how incredible. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the climax of a huge emotional war coaster, even bigger than Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Like, when I got at, you know, I waited, you know, I heard about Wardrobe about four years before it came out. They were going to make a movie. I was like, all right, they're finally going to make my favorite books into movies. And uh, about six months before... Uh, the movie came out. I was asked to be a news poster at Narnia Web, which, what a cool way to experience the last six months, to actually get to be a part of posting the news and everything. And uh, then I got, got and getting to meet Douglas Gresham, I got to get an advanced screening, and it was just such a, what a privilege. And um, I really didn't think it could get any better than that. <laughs> Obviously, I was wrong. This one, um, with actually getting... You know, first off, it was cool to be on Narnia Web, be on the staff from the very beginning, from the very early stages of the film, when the very first news started coming in, to actually be on staff was a cool way to experience it. And uh, then uh, being a finalist for the uh, uh, ultimate fan competition to go to the set, and I didn't win that time, and I was, you know, really disappointed at the time, but then a few months later, got invited to go to the set as a, a press person, basically, and that was... Oh my gosh, I can't put that, it's still, I still haven't gotten over it, how, what a shocker that was to hear that, and getting to actually be on the set, and this, it was a dream, it, it didn't feel real, it still doesn't feel real, looking back at it, that actually happened, and then getting, um, the, and I love writing, so getting to actually write, you know, and all the joy and challenge of taking all that information, and trying to release it all in five cohesive reports, uh, was a huge challenge, but such fun, and what an honor. And then, of course, uh, so much controversy has come out of this film, much more so than Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Not really surprising, since, you know, it's not a cinematic of a book, you know. But um, there's been a lot more changes to this one. It doesn't mean it's less faithful. It just means they made more changes. I think they can still honor the spirit of the book, even maybe even more so than Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, the, the White Witch, it's the one I heard about on set. And, um, you know, at, at, the, at the time it seemed like, oh my gosh, what, what have they done? They couldn't get any worse. Of course it did. And now I've warmed up to the idea of the witch. It's Caspian's character I'm still concerned about, although a new video seems to suggest that uh, uh, Caspian's in a trance when this happened. The latest creature video on Yahoo. But I'm speculating again. i got to stop doing that. I'm seeing the movie tonight. <laughs> Come on. It's th th enough talk. Let's go see it. But, um, so then, you know, the, the kids riding centaurs ended up not being an issue. It looks like it's just going to be one brief moment in a moment of desperation. Um, uh, Reaper Chips Fur, that ended up being no big deal. Uh, Caspian's age, I don't think that's a big deal. I mean, there's, there's all these issues. I and mean, obviously, P the, the Peter's character and Susan fighting, those are probably the two I'm, the two biggest concerns. The, uh, the, the romance, it looks like it's going to be subtle. But I mean, there's so many issues. Obviously, I'd say the thing I'm most curious to see is... Um, the way they've restructured it. We, I mean, I guess knew from the beginning that we're going to have to do that at least to some degree to make it more cinematic. They've restructured, I think, a little more than I would have done, but I'm very curious to see how they um, put it all together. Uh, by the way, a Fantasia Kitty's interview with Andrew Adamson is on Narnia Web, and uh, pretty soon she's going to be posting an interview with uh, Marcus and McFeely, the screenwriters, and they talk about, you know, they explain the their reasons for some of the major changes, and it's really interesting. So when she posts that, you got to read that. Um, but uh, yeah, so much mirror has been flushed out. There's so much controversy that's come out of this. The kiss, of course, so many little things and big things, and you know, 20-page threads on Narnia Web, and moments of panic making these videos and everything, and. 
but such a, a um, emotional roller coaster. Like you know, there there are so many questionable and controversial things, but there's equally, I think, as many good and positive, encouraging things. Reapy cheap, I think. I was I was just just now reading another negative review, but they had something good to say about Reapy cheap. Like I. I I really think I'm gonna li like him. I'll probably like him more than anything else. I was talking to really in the, the, the last night, and I think he might be my favorite part of the movie. Uh, some of the positive things, uh, the, the design. I've, I've said that before in so many other videos that the design of this movie looks awesome. Not all of it is exactly how I imagined it. Like Aslan's how. That's not how I imagined it, but I think they've really, um, they they kind of I I think intentionally they have kind of captured the essence of Pauline Bain's illustration with that little square door at the bottom and. Yeah, you know, that's a good example of something where it's not how I imagined it, but they just, it just feels right. I think Caspian too. Not how I imagined him, but there's something about Ben Barnes that makes me say, yeah, he's Caspian. And um, so, um, so um, the the design looks awesome. The cinematography just captures the spirit of the book more so than *Line the Witch in the Wardrobe* did. Uh, the casting looks really good. Uh, the visual effects look like a one a one step up from *Line the Witch in the Wardrobe*. Um, I really think it. I, I, I even much more so than Warzo. I watching the previews. I just get the sense. I just get, feel the book, and um, so that's one of the reasons why. Now that now then there's all those little things like you know this romance that looks like it's going to be more subtle than we thought, and and or from the based on the kiss and um, wow. And then you know the, the white witch. I mean, there's I'm rambling again, but. There's so many things, so many questions I have. Can't wait to get answered tonight. And uh, it's been about seven years since I read Prince Caspian all the way through for myself, the whole series. Uh, I was fam familiar with the stories pretty much every time before that. Like I had them read to me as a kid. I, I vague memories of hearing them. I pretty much knew the story, but I uh, read them all the way through for myself about seven years ago and became hooked. This is kind of been, uh, just over seven years ago. That was seven is a good number. So um, here we are. Going to see the movie after everything we've come through, and I don't really want to stop talking. I am. I hopefully I'll have time to do one more video before I head to the theater. But I don't. I've had such a you know these videos. The the intention was just to have a record of my initial thoughts. It'll be such fun now to go and look, watch them all again, and see. After seeing the movie, I'll be able to look, go back, and see what I got wrong, what I got right, and everything, and how my opinions have changed over time. It's also, you know, because I got my new MacBook Pro, it was also kind of an, an excuse to learn my new editing software. That was one motivation behind it. And, um, which I, which I, that's, that certainly have accomplished that. But, um, two minutes more here and I'll have to cut. And uh, my last video before I go, it's just going to be kind of a big, you know, see ya, big, just checking in, leaving now. And, um, I think it's going to be good. After all the controversy, you know, the emotion of going to the set and everything, this has been such an emotional roller coaster. Like, one week I think it's going to be great, one week I think it's going to be terrible. Like, up and down. And, um, I hope this film, um, uh, ultimately glorifies God in some way. You know, there are themes in the story. And that's one of the things that's really hooked me about the series, is that it took themes, ideas, um, stories from the Bible and gave me the chance to experience them as if for, for the first time. And uh, Prince Caspian, you know, the main idea, of course, is faith and the idea that this world is all that there is, the philosophy, that, that whole thing, and the idea of um, a return to faith after hundreds of years of corruption. And ultimately, I really want the film to capture that. There's a lot of other nitpicky things, like, you know, the things, you know, I, Susan's character annoys me, but that's the main thing I really want them to capture. Because that's the reason I'm so hooked in the first place. And so, Oh, less than a minute to go here. Um, what can I say? You know, it's thanks to everyone who's watched these videos this long. <laughs> for some reason, um, watch me ramble about Narnia. And um, it's time to head out now. Well, not gonna be. I'm gonna do one more video now. But um, it's been a joy uh, anticipating this film. Emotion, it's an emotional roller coaster, and uh, getting to make these videos. Um, in the end, you know, gotta say, enough talk, enough talk, let's just go see the movie. Just, let's just forget about everything and just go see it. So, um, until my next video, I'll be posting pretty soon. Um, further up and further in.